Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and I hope everyone's going to have an awesome day today. Right, we are up with Panelisa and I am using that frame again because it's lovely and we're going to be using this lovely coneflower die set. So I've already cut it apart and I've done some die cutting because I'm trying to be organised and we're going to make a shaker right i've got my glue there it is yes i'm so glad you like the way i did that i don't know how permanent it's going to be on there but um as i said you know it's going to stop it from rolling away and hiding and we're going to use some of these sequins because they're just going to tie in with all of my colors right my die cutting first of all my base and today it is uh oh how big is it it's five and a half by four and three quarters that's my base plain white cardstock and then a sheet from a wood grain paper pad these used to be about two dollars from joanne and i've still got a couple of them i don't know how much they are now or even if they still do them excuse me just one minute that is my son from england right i totally forgot where i am yes indeed oh the choice of skype right i think we did the base my glue lid i think we did the sequins right now i've cut two of these frames now the reason i did that is because i wanted to show you they are mirror image so let's just get those together which is brilliant because you can use one just to make a shaker i'm using two to make it even sturdier but it means you can make a see-through card so that's absolutely awesome because not all dies are mirror images so when you get a mirror image yeah. it becomes quite special and i've got myself a piece of acetate that is going to fit in there that's going to sandwich between the two and then i've got all my coneflower bits and i'm using a pale green a pastel pink and a bright yellow right so i've already done my base so let's put these bits together because this is going to be quite simple and i'm just going to put some tape first of all whoops around the uh the edges of my frame now you want it to be quite close there we go up to the edge there because this is what's going to hold your acetate in place and then we're going to glue the rest of the frame to the other frame which will make it super easy so you can see basically how close I'm, I'm going there Right, what I'll do is I'll stick my tape on the other two sides and come straight back. Right, so I've got my tape down and I'm just peeling off the back of here. And you will probably have a little bit overhanging if you do this. Which is okay because it helps to stick the rest of the frame. Now, I am using Alina Crafts tapes and foams today. Right, now then, a piece of acetate. All you need to make sure is that you've got nothing hanging out of the edges and that your aperture is covered. There we go. As long as it's covered, you're fine. And now it's a matter of getting some glue and we're going to go around the edges. And I'm just going to, I've just put that onto my, my paper. Did you see that? Oh, I'll get that up in a minute. Just trying to track it all the way around those scallopy bits. Right. And put the lid back on. Okay, now let me get rid of that. There we go. Now, just take your mirror image and place it on. You've got a couple of seconds here where you can move stuff if it's not straight. 
but now our acetate is stuck between those two frames so we have a window so as I was saying if you wanted to do a transparent card with a frame then this is a perfect die for that and I'm telling you seriously it is not very often that you get something that is a perfect mirror image that's got a pretty edge on it it really isn't because people when they do lacy stuff it's um it's odd if you know what i mean which is what makes it lacy so to see something like this and it mirrors itself doesn't matter which way you turn it that's going to make a great transparent card right so our acetate is sandwiched beautifully in there and that is all stuck down now it doesn't matter which side i put my phone tape on they're both nice sides and that's what we're going to do next and i'm using as i said alina craft i'm using this one so i'm going wherever i want to you want to go outside of your edge so that you're creating a frame and uh, none of your sequins are going to fall out the edges if you know what i mean so go over slightly so I'm swizzling things around and I don't know whether I'm left or right here. And then put your next piece of foam up to it. So that you're just creating a nice frame. And I've gone off the edge of the uh, aperture there again. Get my scissors in. And we're going here again. Just means that none of your uh, shaky bits are going to leak where you don't want them to go and then i need that bit there i hope my camera's not going all blurred I'm kind of concentrating on putting the foam down and not really looking and then i want to finish that off there right so now you've got a perfect foamed frame i'll hold that up close for those who aren't used to uh oh let's have a look there we go you can see there's no gaps for anything to escape so the next thing i'm doing is bringing in my card base and because it's large you could go you know totally mad with your sequins i'm going to try not to do that I'm just going to, you know, put a generous sprinkle. And uh, I think that's going to sort of, you know, complement the colours that are in the flower. Right, next up, we're taking the back off our foam. And I'm just doing that slightly off camera because I haven't got enough space. So I'm peeling all the back off. And I'm flipping it over. And now all I need to do is stand up because I need to stand up and look to make sure I'm straight and I will tell you I ordered um, this week from AliExpress they've got those um, well, what do you call them seven piece layer frames where you just butt them up to your cardstock so that your borders are accurate all the time right excuse my camera shaking right that's all squeezed down there's no wet glue to worry about so you know i'll make you all seasick just by shaking it isn't that great oh i love that so easy this is going to make a fabulous frame for a christmas card i mean all of your little houses and your hills there you know especially if you put it that way around landscape and you know you've got your little church up on a hill and stuff and you can put all of your snowy sequins and stuff into there it's just going to make a really beautiful scene but today we are going this way around because it is quite a tall flower now somewhere around here i have got a flower stem and i don't know if i poked it out <laughs> do you know i didn't poke it out i was getting myself all organized and i put the flower stem back in the bag so I'm now going to get that. I shall retrieve it from the die. I should be able to do it with my fingers. There we go. So we've got that really lovely, delicate flower stem. And I don't know how long it's going to be yet. Because, of course, on things like this, you can chop them to the desired length. But we need to glue those pieces together. Now, 
it's quite a sort of wacky looking comb flower and you can arrange your petals wherever you want them and when you're looking at comb flowers they are quite untidy flowers you know their petals can be all over the place all layered up and all sorts of things now i did just run the petal section once through the dye so i think i'm going to go for longest at the bottom obviously and uh and then layer up so let's have a look what we've got and it really is a great fun shape and I do like uh, cone flowers. I think the correct term is Echinacea purpurea is the Latin. I think I'm correct. If I'm not, someone will tell me below. But you can see what I mean as you start to layer it up. And pop, pop all your bits in. And I'm going to show you how quick and easy to attach everything together. So I'm just kind of like scooting them around and wondering where I want stuff. So I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to go medium, I'm going to go long. And then I think I'm going to have a big one here. And I'm just kind of like pushing them together and building my shape. Which is looking a little bit haphazard. So I will get there eventually. And then I'm going to go there. And then I think I'm going to flip that one. And go there. And then I think I'm going to go there and you'll see exactly what I'm about to do. And then I'm going to go there. So I'm just kind of like fiddling around and positioning them as careful as I can. I just want to push that one onto there. And then I've got this one. I'm thinking I'll go in the centre. Yeah, that's kind of kind of a wacky collection of petals. I quite like that. And what I'm going to do is I want to turn this one upside down. There. That's better. I think I want to turn this one as well. I'm going to get that one out of there. Pop that one back in. And then this one. Yeah, kind of like that configuration. So the next thing to do is to get some glue. Now, some of these will stick and some of them won't. But, you know, I can kind of, if I can get my clarity back, I can visually see where that stuff is down there. So I'm just going to run some glue along the edge here. And I'm going to pop it down. And that is going to hopefully adhere all of my petals. And those that don't get the glue, that's okay. Because I can just pick my flower up and stick it back down. But do you see how cute that is? It's got a cartooniness to it. So I'm going to have a look at what's stuck and what hasn't. Well, there's only one there, isn't there? Got my glue on my mat again. I'm still looking for a nice background piece. And while you've still got a little bit of playtime, you can, if you want to, fan them out. And, of course, I need more glue into that space now. So I can see where my gap is. I'm just going to put a little bob there. And then I'm going to pop that one right there. And give it a press. And that's how you can manage to get, you know, loads of stuff stuck down all in 
you know, one pass. Now, I think I'm going to go sort of there and off my off my stem with that. I want to go right up into the corner. Yeah. So I'm just going to put that aside. So that's going to be drying. And then we've got layers for our leaves. Now, you can colour these sections in if you want to. To make them darker than the top but I quite like the idea that they're the same colour and that's how I'm going to do it so I'm just going to pop these here so you can see how it's done and how you see those leaves that's exactly how I'm going to glue them and I will be right back right so I've done my leaves and that's our little flower and I have actually shut my blinds because it was just too bright so let's bring our shaky card in and I've got my stem here and I've decided I don't need to cut it so let's get a little bit of glue onto this this is going to be a little bit fiddly because obviously I want it to stick down but I don't want so much that I'm going to be spoiling my acetate now, I know the angle that I want it to go and I want it to go that way so I want it coming directly out of that point there and then I'm just gently going to tap it down there now you can see it doesn't go all the way to the top but that's okay because the flower is going to cover that bit right so I think that's okay and then next up we're going to glue the flower so I'm going here and if any bits were missed before you know in the gluing of them all together well you know they're certainly glued now so there's no need to worry about that and then just into that corner so that catches the stem that's really pretty and then of course I have my leaves so I need to decide where those are going to go I think sort of like that so that they're hanging on to the edges of the white of the frame I like that and then I've got one here that if you wanted to could go at the bottom or you can just tuck it up because we haven't glued the base of that and have one coming out from the flower there which I kind of like the idea of that so I think that's where that one is going to go so I'm just going to glue this section that I know is going to go to the white frame and then there's less opportunity for smearing a bunch of stuff all over my acetate there gonna have that one there then this little one is going here try to keep my glue in the center there very sparing and go there just gonna hold that and then we've got this one to go opposite and that was quite a quick card really it's nice to be able to make easy shakers and doing it with windows really is you know the easiest way to do it right and I've got my top oh and somebody did ask where did I get these flowers from I got them off Aliexpress and if I can still find them because they were really cheap it was like a bag of 50 for $2 um, then I will link them below if you're wanting to make yourself a little stopper for your glue bottle but as I said I don't know how permanent it's going to be but at least you know for a while you're not going to lose your pin right so let's have a closey isn't that nice it's a kind of greeny brown uh, wood grain background which I think suits that sage green but really simple and if everything's attached down okay then you can totally give it a shake isn't that pretty? Love that. 
Right, I thank you so much for joining me today. And I'm up again tomorrow with who knows what. So do come back. Have an absolutely awesome day. And as usual, all links below. Bye.